Sunday the uh, 13th of September I'm in The Hague where I'm going to do the Great North Run virtual. Unfortunately I'm faffing around with uh, a phone because it's a phone app uh, and it keeps telling me I've got bad reception so I don't know what I can do about that, it's in my pocket. Coming out to 5k, not hearing much out of the app at the moment but we'll see how Danton Deck Uh, chime in at the one mile mark 1.6 kilometers and and or deck as Bill Nye would say uh, so it's pretty warm today it used to be 20 degrees already in the morning there is a southwest wind blowing so at the moment I'm getting that into my face you might be able to hear that on the microphone I don't know um, but obviously when I loop back at Monster, come back there won't be such an issue. So yeah, just about to hit the 5k. So normally on the Great North Run, this would be about the point when you're hitting the Time Bridge, which is quite iconic. You've just run along a pretty nondescript bit of motorway, or dual carriageway. Although the tunnels are fun because everybody does oggy 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 through the tunnels uh, as you go through bits of the university people on the overhanging walkway bridges and of course now you go across Time Bridge and then turn the corner and head past Gate Gateshead where there's normally an awful lot of people gathered as well so anyway it's the 5k gone almost going to turn into kite down in a minute I've just been following the southern fringe of West June Park along Van Van Poot and I thought I'd come this way rather than dive just cut the corner on West June Park because then I get a distinct track and uh, I won't have actually run on the same section of trail going out and coming back so I'm trying to it won't look that much like a loop it'll look like a long stretched out run because there is a section uh, through Vestland where unless I run on the road there's only one route which is the, the cycle path so, so there will be a bit that I'm running there and back on but I've got this distinct square loop uh, when I hit Monster. And kilometre mark. So a third of the way in. And uh, this is a pretty busy cycle trail on a Sunday. You get big groups of racing bikes going through. But I'm hoping uh, this is infinitely safer than running on the road. Uh, so we just had Anna from the running channel give a very sound piece of advice which is settle in, calm it down at this point you've got to get the rhythm calm down go into a rhythm, I've slowed right down because of this headwind because I don't want to do myself in for the return leg we oh, enjoy that and cruise it not after any records today anyway it wasn't going to be one of those days coming into Monster there's Monster you can see the houses uh, so I've got so just had Steve Cram come on a bit of words of encouragement at the seven mile mark over halfway now I'll make that 11 11.2 11.3 kilometers it's well over halfway another 10 to go hi got a bit of a, some some encouragement there from, from the locals so just coming back into kite down uh, we just had Tammy Gray Thompson on the uh, 
on the commentary app saying she did the Great North Run for 17 years. So just come through the boulevard area of Kite Down and into West June Park, which suddenly got a lot busier. It's about three and a half kilometers to go, two and a half miles. So I've mentioned a few times before, I'm running this for my own enjoyment, but also to raise some money this year in particular, but other years as well for the Cystic Fibrosis Trust. That's in memory of my dear cousin Nick, Nick Jolliman. And uh, so sort of a big hello to Jill and Martin, uh, my auntie and uncle, and Sue and Nick, and uh, Tim and Sabani, and uh, everybody else in the family. So I've so a big challenge this year. Not only does the CF Trust done amazing in, as a pressure group and as a funder to try and get some of the new monoclonals and other drugs approved for use by CF, particularly the youngsters, because it's so important to see if we can try and maintain and slow down that uh, the lung damage that can happen early, happens typically early on so it's a and it's also particularly poignant this year because of the how many people would have CF and family and friends who would have had to have not just locked down but shielded all over the world this year having a respiratory uh, as a condition that so affects the respiratory system and makes you so prone to illness because it affects your immune system as well and equally to all of those who either are frail or who've got lung pre-existing lung conditions and uh, autoimmune compromise those undergoing cancer treatment and so on it's a big list and uh, although we kept us to have fit there's all these reassuring messages oh you know it's those with underlying conditions you must remember what a sizable proportion underlying conditions can cover so some of my work in public health you can identify through respiratory conditions uh, through autoimmune disorders and conditions that affect the autoimmune system you're talking in most countries about 30 percent of the population potentially those not just those who are over 65 or over 70 but those who are younger make up more than a third of that population so we've always got to remember that who we've really got to protect in our communities it's the last kilometer tracking back in on the west dunes following the coast got more people now now it's gone midday here in the netherlands it's almost there and now ordinarily you'll be going through a huge funnel of people at South Shields all along and it's such a long great sight I mean South Shields is lovely anyway when you catch it from the brow of the hill and see the sea but when you've got people cheering along it and you know you've got the finish line very slowly it's lovely and a great reception from the CF team they host they have and we have a big tent and they do massages although I feel sorry for the those massages I know they've got used to it but I always think oh last thing you want is somebody's just run a half marathon <laughs> and not been in the shower first uh, but they do sandwiches and drinks and help you recover so this is it last little bit now I'm just waiting for the shout out and across the finish line I actually make it 0.7 of a kilometre to go, but there's always a little bit with these apps. 
some of them cut corners and sometimes they had extra bits on there's a uh, down door pup ahead of me so that was my intended finish which I think will probably be about 22 kilometers if I carry on so it's a good solid Sunday workout as well as feeling like I was even though there's nobody else here well, other than the company being kept by the cyclists and the odd runners and walkers you feel like there's another 10,000 or more people running with you at the same time there were certainly about 8,000 registered last night for this one and then they do another start at one o'clock British time as well so another hill to go up here there it is that's the finish I'm just going to do a bit of, of a cool down so there's a view of Downdorp they've even, built even more flat on the, on the run into the beach now so I've a little kilometre walk now which is always good after a long run it can be quite bad to actually stop after a long run immediately because your your heart rate drops and your blood pressure drops and that actually can uh, take blood away from your heart which is why so many people who uh, aren't necessarily conditioned or have just had a bad race or a bad day can actually have heart problems on the finish line because they put in that last bit of effort across the finish line and stop and what you've got to do I'd preferably keep jogging and then just ease it down to a walk just to keep the pressure up in your body so your brain and all your muscles and particularly your organs your brain heart lungs are all getting fed with uh, a nice good pressure of blood it feels unnatural it feels like you want to stop and you're knackered uh, but believe me it saves a lot of problems if you get stars in front of your eyes anything like that that's a bit of a warning that your blood pressure's just dropped a little bit too much anyway enough of the health lecture it's a wonderful day